What's going on, guys? It's Dragony. Welcome back to JoJo. So, fuck. Last time we finished Phantom Blood, Jonathan died. JoJo is gone. Dio presumably is also gone. Uh, Aaron has saved herself and a baby. Uh, the only thing I can assume is that the baby is going to grow up to be the new JoJo. That's all I can assume, really, at this point. Uh, the episode is called, I think it was called New York's JoJo. So, I don't know. <laughs> this, is gonna, this is the start of Battle Tendency. I really want to see what's so good. Especially, a lot of people have been saying this is the episode that will really hook me. So I really want to see what it is with this episode that makes it so good and so supposedly shocking. Uh, let's find out. This is the first ep episode of Battle Tendency. Let's check it out. Oh, Speedwagon! How long has it been? What? Holy shit. Then why don't... 49 years. It, why doesn't Speedwagon learn, um, Hammond, though? Oh, the mask! Oh! I still don't know, is that supposed to be Jojo, or...? Wait, is that Jojo? Oh, come on, Boko! Oh, jeez. Smokey. He, he really looks like Poco. Oh my god. Oh my god! Seriously? This guy's a fucking crook. He, he looks like Jojo. Like, he looks like Jonathan. Which is interesting because they're not even blood related. Oh, does he have Hammond energy? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> and then he drinks the coke. What a guy. His dad died in the war. Like, the... The World War? Joseph Joestar. Joseph Joestar. Part 2, Battle Tendency. Okay! So, whew. Yeah, who is the guy in the pillar? He's alive. Wait, 
Why straight so? Oh, he tried on one of the masks. Or no, he didn't try it on yet. So, but... Okay, so it was just the Hammond then that was keeping me young. I thought for a second he like switched to a new body or something, and the old body was what was encased in the stone there. Looks so old now. Jojo, get a fucking haircut. You're so thoughtful. Oh, jeez. Yet yeah, look who's talking. All oh, racism. Yes. Yeah, don't piss off Jojo. Granny Erin is kind of badass. This guy's smart. <laughs> He's good at analyzing. Oof. Oof, rough. This guy is... Jeez. He looked at him and just analyzed everything. まだこの国の新聞屋とかには知られてねえんだが。スピードワゴンさんが殺されました。オフ。いくら真実とはいえ、そんな最悪の情報をエリナおばあちゃんにいきなり聞かせたのは許せねえ。怯えさせて悲し
Wait, 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 what? He has a fucking machine gun?! Jojo, careful! Tommy gun, right, yes. You could have killed someone, man! Jeez! Oh boy. Hey, first of all, was there no theme song? Or did I miss it? Hold on. I guess there was no theme song. I think the first episode of JoJo didn't have a theme song either. So I guess just the first ep episode of every arc just doesn't play the theme song for some reason. That's strange. Okay, but th this was... Interesting. <laughs> it's uh, obviously it definitely feels different because it's a completely different time period. Uh, so this is two generations after Jonathan. Erina was pregnant on the ship, and the baby she was pregnant with, plus the baby she saved, became Joseph's fa uh, father and mother. That makes sense. Okay, yeah. Uh, Straitzo has just gone fucking nuts. Apparently, even back when they were fighting Dio, he was already jealous of Dio and wanted that, um, that immortality. That's crazy. He seemed like such a good guy by then. Did, did he even fight? I don't remember. You know what? No, he didn't. He did not fight Dio. That's right. Uh, he might have fought some of the, uh, some of the other zombies hanging around, but he, I don't think he ever tried taking on Dio himself. Okay, so we still got the same kind of bad guy here. It's still, it's, Jojo is still about the mask. I actually thought it was going to be something completely different, but I like, I like that it's actually still sticking to, like, the same concept. And it, it's just the same thing again, but happening later. It's like a continuation of the same story, which I like. Uh, I'm curious to see how this Jojo is going to grow and become stronger. He's very, he's very different from Jonathan. Uh, like Speedwagon said, he's not really a gentleman. He, uh, Joseph has a very, a very bad temper. <laughs> he, so when he gets mad, he'll just, he'll grab someone, he'll beat people up. He, uh, he shot a Tommy gun into the restaurant, not caring whether or not he would shot anyone else. Like, that's just fucking nuts. Like, you gotta be careful of the other people, dude. But he has... For the people he loves, he has a lot of respect for them. Like, like Granny Arena, you could tell he does not tolerate uh, people upsetting Arena or just saying anything bad around Arena or talking down to her, nothing. He will not tolerate that. So he's still the same kind of family man that Jonathan was. Which is good. But yeah, uh, from here, fuck. You know, I really have no idea what's gonna happen. Maybe the next episode will just be like a fight between uh, between Joseph and uh, Straitso. I don't know. Maybe Straitso will run away, because I don't know how badly he was hurt. I feel like... I wish he knew that he had... He doesn't... Joseph does know that he has to destroy the brain. So if he knew, it would have been easy for him to just go right up to the body... Gun to the brain. Just shoot it like a million times all around. Just em empty the gun into his brain. I'm sure that would utterly destroy it. <laughs> uh, anyways, I'm going to end the video now because it sounds like my roommate brought a bunch of friends over and they're right outside my door. So, <laughs> I'll see you guys for episode 2. Or, sorry, episode 11. Episode 2 of Battle Tendency. Bye-bye.